Hello all, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. So I started looking into the PCA exam, which is Professional Cloud Architecture, and I went through the content. So when I was looking into the course structure, the three case studies, like Monkirk and other two case studies, are important from the exam's point of view. Meaning they would give you a, a case study as a solutions architect. You have to provide the solution, how you would move that company or how you would suggest best solution in GCP. So in this video, we are going to go over the Mount Kirk games, the first case study. And I'm going to give you how I'm going to approach to the problem of what the case study is and how we're going to move that game to Google Cloud for better scalability. If you like this sort of content, please do subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, folks, So let's go through the case study. And I'm going to give you the link of this case study, which is there on the website. This is the first case study for a PC exam. It's better to read this before the exam and have this in your mind so that you know if you get any questions on this, it will be easy for you to just answer those questions instead of wasting your time reading the case study again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read the case study. I'm going to mark some important keywords in the case study. And we can also look at some of the problems that a customer is facing, right? So let's treat on Kirk Games here as a customer. And they came to you as a solutions architect for or some solution if you're working in a google cloud platform and uh, you know how would you give them solution to move their game to the cloud let's go through the case study the mount Kirk games make online games so one thing that you have to understand here it's, it's online gaming platform and this is a multiplayer games as well for mobile platform they build all of their games using some server side integration historically they used cloud service cloud providers to lease physical servers due to the unexpected popularity of some of their games they had problems with scaling their global audience right so scalability is their problem so one problem is scalability so they have scaling issues uh, basically with multiple services uh, with their application servers and MySQL databases and analytics too. The current model of analytics, so the current model of analytics is something like they have the files stored. So, you know, they have, let's say this is the game server. Files are transferred to a disk, right? So it can be a yeah, their normal, you know, SAN NAS drive or something. I'm just assuming things here. So they, they send it to their drive storage drive and then from here they would do ETL processing and it goes to the database which is MySQL so that's the current ETL solution they have so one of the main problems of gaming industry as you all know is game can be either popular when it is popular you have to scale uh, and you might have the scaling issues that like Mount Kirk is Mount Kirk Games is having. If the game is not popular, then you don't want to over provision your servers because you end up paying more. Mount Kirk Games is building a new game. So basically the plan here is to focus on the new game. So, so if there is no urgency in the terms of the current games which are running in on-prem, we have to plan for the new game, which they expect to be very popular. So they are very optimistic that the game is going to be very popular. They plan to build. Uh, they plan to deploy the game's backend on Compute Engine. They gave a service here, which is easier for us. So they can capture streaming analytics, again uh, streaming metrics. Another important keyword here: run intensive analytics and take advantage of auto scaling environment. Integrate with managed NoSQL. Whenever you go through the use cases, you should be very thorough in the terms of all the latest uh, services that uh, that are there in the Google Cloud. Whenever you hear managed NoSQL database, then you know that immediately it is, you know, cloud data store. There is one service here that we have noted down. What are the business requirements? Increase to global footprint, which means that we would we would cater this game for the global audience. That could be you know you might have to use global load balancer here right so that could be https 
load balancer improve uptime downtime is loss of players obviously so the, the availability of the servers is very important you know you, the sla of this gaming industry is so important uh, you might have played a lot of online games you know i play regularly and if there is a downtime of one hour or something you know it's a huge impact for the company right so sla is keeping up the servers and the availability of the servers is very important increase efficiency of the cloud resources as we use reduce latency to all the customers so we, we have to make sure that you know uh, the customers are coming from different geographical locations possible if we can use some cdn solution or um, you know any other solution but basically the latency of the customers is so, imp so important like for example if you're playing from you know uh, new jersey or new york better that you connect to a us east data center right instead of connecting to an indian data center there will be a huge latency that's business requirements so let, let's go through the technical requirements and this is the main component dynamically scale up and down based on the game activity so you have to scale dynamically which is preferably horizontal scaling using managed sense groups right connect to transactional database service to manage user profiles and game data so one sort of data store basically is for the game data and profiles right so here you can use you know cloud sql if you want or if they if you want to use no sql database you can also use the data store right so that's for the trans for the profiles and game data store game activity in a time series database so if there is a game activity let's say if you want to store this game activity usually for the time series the best database in google cloud is bigtable that's one possibility we might have to use cloud bigtable if they have huge data for that sort of data it's better to use a cloud bigtable which is a nosql offering from google we can consider using that as the system scales ensure that the data is not lost due to processing logs so if there are any backlogs you know that the data is not lost when when the streaming and the logs are coming in from uh, from the mobile devices if you want to backlog that then you want to store them in cloud run hardened linux distro so this is another hint for us you know this company would want to use hardened vms for better security so obviously the solution would be gce right you don't want to you might consider using app engine or something but since they made it very clear that you know security is their concern and then they want to use hardened linux destroy it's better to go with gc for this requirements for game analytics platform now we have covered most part of the application layer uh, application layer business logic layer and we also covered the data store part of it right where we're going to store the data now the important component here for them is the data analytics because they want to consider getting the analytics in real time and dynamically scale up or down based on the game activity so whenever you see the word dynamically uh, it's better to you go for a managed services right so in exam let's say that they would they would ask you they would give you the similar they would give you the similar statement and they'll say can we install a hadoop system on vms or can we use the managed service in google so obviously your answer would be managed service because that's scalable less expensive it's easy to maintain dynamically scale up or, up or down based on the game activity process incoming data on fly i'm going to talk about this uh, for a moment basically they you want to consider three important components when doing analytics so first thing is data ingestion and second thing is data processing and the third thing is storing the data and you can analyze the data when the data is coming in from the mobile devices the best way of streaming the data would be by using service called pubsub right so the data is coming in pubsub and then you would use cloud data flow 
for processing the data right so what happens is let's say you you're getting constant data uh, from you know the mobile devices or from somewhere uh, from the game servers so you have to stream the data through pubsub and then pubsub cloud data flow will pick it up from pubsub will process the data meaning it will do all the etl part here and then ultimately it will store the data in bigquery I mean this is so important because whenever you see analytics data store then you would ideally want to choose bigquery um, because this is more suitable for that sort of analysis like you know you can set up your bi tools talking to bigquery and do doing all sorts of analysis on that so this is a normal flow you know any data analysis diagrams that you see for google cloud for data ingestion you would use pubsub data processing you use data flow this is a managed etl you know service and can do deduplication and other stuff where you can write your programs here uh, it's a pipeline and then once the data is the etl process is done you would insert the data into a store which is a bigquery and then you can build your bi tools or whatever tools on top of a bigquery and then analyze analyze the data you know where you can give it to your data science science team or whichever team management team to do some analysis so that's important here right so uh, here process incoming data on the fly from the game servers which is what we plan to do here process data that arrives late because of slow mobile networks but let's say there is some data that is arriving slow so in that case what you would do is you would upload the data into cloud storage and then you would use again the etl job etl job to process the data and then store it in bigquery okay so now allow queries to access at least 10 tb of historical data so again bigquery is perfect for that historical data process files that are regularly uploaded by users mobile devices again you can use you know, cloud storage for that this is the data analysis part our last successful game did not scale well so we are reading important executive statement so whenever you're analyzing any solution not only you would look at the technical aspects but also you would want to understand from the executive of the company to understand what are the business requirements that are very important as a solutions architect like you know if if, uh, if executive has a specific sla or you know if executive has a specific budget for the whole you know you know migration to google cloud you would know from that so let's read this out here our last successful game did not scale well with our previous cloud provider resulting in lower use adoption and affecting the game reputation our investors want more performance indicators which is like kpis which is called uh, key performance indicators to evaluate the speed stability of the game as well as other metrics that provide deeper insights into the usage patterns so we can adapt game to target users so what basically the executive statement here is for they had a very bad experience with the previous cloud provider now going forward they want to make sure that the new game that they're going to launch in google cloud and they're going to have proper apis to make sure that it is working better for example let's say the scalability of the game depends on the number of users then you want to use you know for example stack driver here to build custom metrics and scale the instances based on the number of users right not based on the cpu or memory so some of some of those things will matter here as as you can clearly point it out that uh, the other metrics is that provide deeper insights and usage pattern so stack driver with monitoring tools can provide you all those details additionally our current technology stack cannot provide the scale where uh, scale we need so we want to replace mysql so here executive made it very clear absolutely clear that they want to replace mysql and move to an environment where that provides auto scaling and low latency load balancing and free sub uh, managing physical servers yeah so they want to go for a managed solution 
and uh, you know they want to scale it scale automatically and use all proper services for the for the right things with that being said so now finally let's go through the summary of this what are the main services that we have discussed here if you if you want to you know go through the solution real quick so one thing i think we all agreed is for the application servers and the game servers we want to use google compute engine right gce and we would want to scale them automatically so we're going to use with manage instance groups for auto scaling since the users are globally available you know would use http load balancer global load balancer we will use stack driver sorry for my sort of bad writing because i'm trying to use this microsoft whiteboard for the first time and using my pen here not have to still get used stack driver logging with the custom metrics right custom metrics is what we have discussed based from our executive statement and now for you know managed no sql we can use cloud data store this is for the game data right this and five if you want to since we're going to use analytics we're going to use you know bigquery for analytics and cloud pub sub for buffering as we have discussed here six cloud pub sub for buffering all right so i think that's pretty much it about the mount kirk games we have gone through the solution we have sorry we have gone through the case study we did some analysis on the case study now we came up with some of the possible services that you want to use based on the exterior statement technical requirements and the business requirements and that's going to provide i guess you know hopefully more and better sla for the customer so now let's go through a sample question for this the sample question here is like for the question refer to the mount per games case study you would need to analyze and define the technical architecture for the database workloads for your company mount kirk games considering the business and technical requirements what should you do first option use cloud sql for the time series data and use cloud big table for the historical data queries so as we as we have discussed here cloud sql is not good for time series data so this is the wrong option no so i will not consider this use cloud sql to replace mysql and use cloud spanner for historical data queries the cloud sql can be replaced for by for mysql which is right and use cloud spanner for historical data series again cloud spanner is managed um sql database and uh, this is more for oltp sort of transaction so it's not good for the historical data queries again this is wrong as well use cloud big table to replace mysql and bigquery for histor historical data queries this is a possibility but they don't want to use mysql so here you know i would suggest you all to read about the big table and google by themselves recommend to use time series data uh, i mean the big table for time series data so this seems to be more viable option for me use cloud big table for time series data use spanner for transactional data though it's a bit expensive but it scales horizontally globally available um, you know sql based database which is cloud spanner and for bigquery historical data this is the right answer so 
go through the case study and then come up with your own solution in your mind and see what would be the best thing and practice some questions so this is this question i found it in internet when i searched for mount Kerr game study, uh, games case study but if you do google search on mount Kerr game study questions you might get a lot of questions so you can practice around those questions all right folks so i think i this video was helpful for you all i hope something you got out of this by creating a solution for mount kirk i'm gonna come up with the next case study in next video until then thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends thanks bye